Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. You guys know that this YouTube channel, SDR Play Ham Guides, is in place to help you get started using SDR Uno, uh, using third-party applications interfacing into SDR Uno. We do digital decoding. We dip our toes into a little bit of everything here on this channel to help you get started and get comfortable with using SDR Uno. But this video is a little bit different. It is my absolute pleasure to announce to you the brand new RSPDX from SDR Play. Now, the RSPDX is a replacement to the highly successful RSP2, RSP2 Pro SDR receiver that was released back in November of 2016. The RSPDX has been extensively redesigned to provide enhanced performance with the addition and improved pre-selection filters, improved intermodulation performance, and the addition of a user-selectable dab notch filter. The RSPDX also features greater software selectable attenuation steps and also introduces a special high dynamic range mode for reception at frequencies that are below 2 MHz. The RSPDX is a single tuner, wideband, full featured 14 bit SDR which covers the entire R spectrum from 1 kHz to 2 GHz, continuous, displaying up to 10 MHz of bandwidth. It contains three antenna ports, two SMA, which operate from the full 1 kHz to 2 GHz range, and a third a BNC connector which operates up to 200 MHz. The RSPDX also features a 24 MHz plug and play reference clock input. Now this allows individual or multiple units to be synchronized to an external reference clock such as a GPS disciplined oscillator, also known as a GPSDO. So let's take a look at the new features of the RSPDX using SDR Uno. As I mentioned earlier, the RSPDX is a replacement for the RSP2, RSP2 Pro and it now has a dab notch filter. The dab notch filter will notch out dab transmissions in the frequency range of 160 megahertz through 230 megahertz. On the original RSP2, RSP2 Pro, the high Z input did not have user selectable notch filtering. On the RSPDX, all inputs have user selectable notch filtering, as I'll show you here. The RSPDX's attenuation range also increased. This increase is shown on the main panel. It's your RF gain control slider. This increase really lets you dial in the SNR for the transmission being monitored. Besides having notch filtering available across all three inputs of the RSPDX, antenna A, antenna B, and antenna C, we've greatly enhanced the performance of the RSPDX below 2 MHz. We now have a 2 MHz low pass filter and a 500 kHz low pass filter. Want to take it even further? Enable the high dynamic range mode. High dynamic range mode will give you the best overall performance below 2 MHz compared to the RSP2, RSP2 Pro, or even the RSP1A. If you want to enable the high dynamic range mode within SDR Uno, navigate to the RX control panel, click the band button, and select high dynamic range. Now remember, high dynamic range mode is only available from 2 MHz and below. So select the band that you want to enable in high dynamic range mode, and to simply leave high dynamic range mode, click that same button again. So to wrap up this video, I'd just like to say thank you to everybody for watching. I also want to let you guys know we've also updated the packaging. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I respond to every single comment. Warmest is 73, and I'll see you guys in the next video.